Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Princess Rudo is still on my head, strangely. So let's just take a look around here and see what the heck we're supposed to do here. <laughs> I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing unless... Well, I guess maybe I have an idea here. My idea is to plop her on the switch, which will open that door, but my assumption is that that switch opens both that door and the one behind that fleshy block of fleshy, bloody gooeyness, ew, way back in this room, the stomach room. Since you don't leave this room when you climb up vines like this, or at least I don't think you leave rooms, I think they're going to be interconnected. Because that seemed to open up. Uh oh, uh oh. No, 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 no. Okay, that did not open the room. So something, something I need to do somewhere around this dungeon. That is going to be the solution, I think. Well, let's see if there's a switch around this room. Oh, 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 oh! That's what I need bomb shoes for. That's what I need bomb shoes for. See, this is what I mean that. Sometimes in Master Quest, you're actually going to need the rare bomb chews. It makes me wonder if you run out of bomb chews, if you can actually complete this game. So be very, very conservative here. Now watch, they go up walls and they blow things up like that. Okay, now what? Uh, it's a cow, Navi. So that's another cow switch, and that opens the fle or mucus behind that fleshy block. Ew. What are these things? There are, I mean, they, they bounce you and they actually hurt you when you touch them. They're so freaky. <laughs> anyway, uh, ooh, this is the room, this the room that leads to the tentacles, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna leave these crates because I bet you I have to use them to hold down a switch. Oh wow, blue. Watch out, Link! Electricity is running through this blue slimy thing! Ooh, Whoa! Am I being pulled toward? No, that's just not the illusion of the room. No, I am being pulled towards it! Look at this! You Don't go too close to that. So yeah, this is, maybe this is like the Lord Jabu Jabu's bowels or something like that. See, this leads, leads to stomach 1, this leads to stomach 2, which has a split to uh, stomach 3 down there, down there to stomach 4 and stomach 5. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> Anyway, let's uh, conserve our bomb chews. Just let's make sure the holy cow. Let's make sure we don't accidentally use them or something like that. You know, by flipping the C stick or something like that. And I'm just gonna, whoop, I'm just gonna rush you to kill you off. And I'm not Z targeted onto you at all. What is it gonna? There we go. What is it gonna take to Z target you anyway, man? It was kind of weird. It was like I wasn't Z targeting onto him because of the fact that. I was, I mean, I, like he was in the wall or something like that, and I couldn't target the spot that's targetable. Anyway, I'm gonna grab a crate for that switch. I knew those crates were gonna be used for something. I remember their usage, but I just didn't know where the switch was offhand. Oh boy, tricky, tricky man, but not tricky enough. I hope one of those tentacle things are behind this door here, because when you defeat a tentacle, Thing or the, one of those gooey slimy things. Yes, this is exactly what I'm looking for. These things right here. Just Z target and throw your boomerang at it like this. Its weakness is that thin appendage there. It's a parasitic tentacle apparently. So yeah, you can you can cut it right down with your boomerang. Um, whenever you want it to come back out, you just run away from it basically and it'll shimmy itself down slowly if I'm not mistaken. No? Maybe you have to go a little closer to it? Okay, I do have to go closer to it, alright. So it's not walking away, it's going closer to it. And yeah, it will try and slap you around, so be careful when you do approach it. And come on, come on. I would like to Z-target you, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that was right in my face. Right in my face, knocked out my front tooth. I'm gonna have to go to the dentist for that one. No, 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 no. I wanted to side flip, actually. <laughs> well, I'm still locked on to it, so this works for me. Yeah. Come on. This is kind of tricky to do, so just kind of like approach it while, while throwing your boomerang. It's the only way to hit this thing. There we go. Once you cut it off, 
this will unlock all doors that they have that color of tentacle. Like, remember that slimy electrical goop that you seen back in the other room, that bluish stuff? If you destroy the blue tentacle, you won't have to worry about that then. And that room will be unlocked. Why are you back? Why are you back? Are you gonna respawn every time I come through this room or, or walk down this hallway? Because that is gonna be a pain and I'm not even gonna bother coming down this hallway again. There we go. You just take so many hits. So many hits. Anyway, down this way, you got a spider web. Gotta burn that, I guess. There's probably a torch of sorts that I can use in this room. Oh, I'm locked in. Is in here. We got a cow. Got another cow. Okay, I don't trust this room in the slightest. I think I hear, um, like likes. Oh god. I, I was expecting, like, to trigger a trap or something like that. Alright, I guess, I guess to trigger whatever the heck's gonna go on in this room. I must shoot the cows. I can hear like likes up there, dang it. Okay, shoot and run. Yeah. Hmm. I don't wanna lose, oh boy! I don't wanna lose my equipment. <laughs> I knew they were gonna come down there because I, I just could hear them. I hate these things so much. They're so annoying. They take so many freaking hits. And you can't hit them when they're like that for some reason. When they're reaching out to try and suck you in for whatever reason. No, no, no. Dang it! You better not take my shield, man. And it took my shield. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to get it back if I defeat it fast enough. Sometimes you can get it back. Sometimes it doesn't work at all. And... I got it back. Yes! You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna equip that shield unless I need it. <laughs> that sounds like a strategy that I can live with. And okay, that gave me magic potion. Ah, so shooting the cows does trigger the appearances of these critters in this room. Alright, so let's just keep our business <clears throat> distance, not business, like business or something like that. Alright, that's definitely the best way to take care of them. And I got infinitely spawning grass here. So I'm, I'm sure I can get as many uh, bullets as I need to for my slingshot. Man, let's see what's in the chest. And that was the torch that I needed for that other room. So I'll just go ahead and light myself a Deku stick on my way out of here. And my wallet is freaking full again. There's Deku sticks. Yeah, it's just hinting about how to solve this puzzle. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, there we go. And just whip that out. Whip it right out of my pants and come through here. And over here is Z Spiderweb. And I'll conserve the stick. What's through here? Another tentacle? Alright, let's keep Z targeted on this sucker all the time this time. It seems a lot easier to destroy it when I'm able to keep a lock on it onto it constantly. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. What the heck color is this thing anyway? It's it's like... Oh! I still got my lock on. Ha <laughs> ha! And come on. Come on. Pull yourself out of there. I need you... you we need to work as a team here if you want to die. Yep! There we go. That takes care of that colored one. And there doesn't appear to be anything else in this room. Though I can hear stuff. <laughs> okay, let's go through. And see what's up this way. Well, not so much up as it is, you know, the other path. Did I unlock any of these doorways? Yeah, this one I unlocked. This, wait, wait. That one? That tentacle unlocked as well? So I guess maybe both those tentacles unlock both those doors? I don't know. Let's just check the left one first. Because I know this was the first one that I killed. It's a green one now. Ew. They're getting more and more gross as we go, man. Oh boy. And you'll notice that the uh, boomerang is also kind of a homing item. So the boomerang is probably one of the most broken items in the game because of the fact of how much power it's got. And what was... What was Navi targeting onto 
on this wall. Did you see Navi go over to that wall and like, you know, flutter herself over there? Hmm. I, I don't see anything. And yeah, hmm. Well, let's just move on. If I have to go back, I have to go back. I just don't see anything right now. And now this room. What's in here? Oh, these things. These are pretty annoying. You have to lure them out and then sh hit them with your boomerang, basically. Or maybe I can just like... Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, it says, as I mean, as Navi said, its tail is its weak point. Not its head. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to hit its tail that way, am I? Ah, there we go. I was trying to like loop around to sort of manipulate the boomerang. Because when you're locked on to an enemy, what happens is that you uh, hit the spot, or the boomerang hits the spot that the uh, cursor is locked onto. So you gotta kind of manipulate the boomerang a little bit by moving to the side uh, as the boomerang is moving. It sort of tricks it out, or at least that's just my best way of using it without having to uh, manually aim with it, basically. And yeah, if you didn't notice, if you try and cut into the fish, Lord Jabu Jabu doesn't like that. <laughs> so I recommend that you don't do that. So don't hurt your fishy friend here. Just uh, blow up some boulders inside its stomach to get rid of its indigestion. Uh, what? Oh. Okay, what am I looking? What is in... Where is the skull tula in this room? I'm hearing... Where? <laughs> Jesus! Well, I'll press the switch. Maybe this will open something. Oh, 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 oh! This does something, this does something. Oh, a boulder I see. Okay. So I'm gonna need... these. And I'm gonna have to blow up that thing. Why didn't I see that before? Okay, I'm just gonna check this out. Ah! There we go. That gave me the Skulltula token. Upsy daisy. Now I should be able to lock on to it. Look at that, this token is like... Oh man, it's not... I can't see target onto the thing, so I'm gonna have to, yeah, aim for it manually. There we go. Awesome sauce! And let's continue on the dungeon. Now that I open a bunch of those tentacles, Back at the stomach room, a new area should be open, actually. Because, remember, back at the stomach room, in the lower area of it, there was two um, thingies blocked over by those parasitic tentacles, those electrical tentacles things, whatever you want to call them. One was down here. See that? Now it's gone. The other one was down there. Now, since I'm... No, wait, should I... Uh, Ruto's probably just going to complain. <laughs> I probably have to clear out the remove room of enemies to get that treasure chest, but I'll be back in here later. Anyway, I believe a boss is through this room, a very easy boss, so let's just uh, take care of that right now. Oh no, 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 I do need Ruto in this room. Yeah, I can, because I can't climb up here, but you can see um, Zora Sapphire right up on top of that pedestal. You see that little... A gleaming thing up there. Yeah, you can't get up there. You can't climb and get that for her, for whatever reason. I don't understand why, but okay. I do need Ruto. I totally forgot that you need her for the cutscene and stuff like that. So, next path up, since you cannot carry her upwards, what you're going to have to do is take her through a series of rooms to get her up here. So I can, you know, take her and drop her down onto this platform here. If I'm not mistaken, unless I'm able to like throw her up here or something like that. You anyway, know, let's just let's just clear out this room here and see if I can get whatever treasure is in this dang room. Like, I just don't see anything that's you know that would give me access to the treasure chest. Unless I'm missing like an enemy or something like that. And yeah, yeah, blah dee -dee, blah blah. I'll carry you around. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's it's designed that she'll complain to you multiple times, but I'm afraid that we need her help. Wait! Is that a second cow? A second cow. Yes! <laughs> so that's how you get this chest, whatever the heck is in here. Why do I get the feeling it's bomb chews? 
Deku nuts. Okay, it's not. I just thought maybe that it was bomb chews or something to replenish your stash, so to speak. But, okay. Let's just grab her and go through that door now. Whoa! Yeah! Whoa! Oh, actually, maybe I'll end off this part here. Because I'm hitting the uh, 1530 mark soon. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. Sit still, I told you! Doo-doo!